First time authors who are self-publishing are in kind of a vulnerable position. The first time you do anything, you don't know what you don't know. Hello, my writerly friends. I'm Victoria Griffin, author, editor, and the owner of Blue Pin. I've been getting a lot of reports lately about first time authors being taken advantage of by predatory self-publishing companies. These types of companies are a massive uh, part of the reason that I expanded Blue Pin to offer self-publishing services, cover design, interior layout, um, etc. First time authors who are self-publishing are in kind of a vulnerable position. The first time you do anything, you don't know what you don't know. Um, and it's really easy to get sucked into either a scam um, or a company that is not going to provide you with the quality of services you need and is going to leave you in a worse place than you started at. So let's talk about the differences between self-publishing services and a publisher, and then we'll talk about uh, a few of the things you can look out for to make sure that you are not taken advantage of. Companies that offer self-publishing services uh, take a fee for these services, that's cover design, interior layout, it may include marketing services, writing your back cover blurb, website design. Um, oftentimes they deliver these services in a package. Blue Pen does not do that because every author is different and I like to have a conversation with the author and figure out the best route for them. But um, a lot of these companies do provide packages. Um, that's not necessarily a sign that they are not legitimate. The deal when you go with um, a self-publishing services company is that you pay the fee and they provide the services and that is the end of your working relationship. They do not take a percentage of your royalties. Neither you nor the company have any responsibility to the other after those services are complete. The big benefit of uh, working with a company that offers self-publishing services um, is that you do not have to hire individual freelancers for each aspect of your self-publishing process. You don't have to hire a cover designer and an interior formatter. They do everything for you. And uh, typically, if it's a larger company, you have a dedicated project manager who um, helps coordinate your services and make sure everything is completed on time. If you work with Blue Pen, I am your project manager and I make sure everything is done correctly and in accordance with your deadline. On the other hand, a publisher does not take an upfront fee from the author. The publisher is responsible for completing all of those services. The book design services are all on the publisher's shoulders uh, as far as their responsibility and financially. If it's a large publishing house, the author typically receives um, an advance. Smaller houses may not have the funds to um, give those royalty advances, but the author is not paying up front. That's the important thing to remember here. They're not paying up front. The publisher does take a cut of the royalties. So with a publisher, they're responsible for um, all of the services up front to design the book and responsible for some marketing. However, your relationship with the publisher extends beyond the book's publication. Now, if you encounter a publisher who charges up front, uh, be it charging for editing, design services, or if they take 100% of the royalties until they recoup publishing costs, um, all of these situations indicate a vanity press, okay? Vanity presses are scams. If somebody is presenting themselves as a publisher and asking you as the author to pay up front, run. That's not something you want to get involved with. Now that brings me to um, one of the first things you can look out for when you're evaluating self-publishing companies. Do they make it clear that they are not a publisher? I have seen self-publishing services companies that 
kind of blur this line. Um, they are not stating outright that they are a publisher, but they're insinuating it. Um, I've seen web copy that if I were a first time author, not, um, not familiar with the industry, I would assume that they're a publishing house and they're not. They are 100% not. Uh, you are not getting publisher support. You are paying up front for the services, whether they're editorial, book design, uh, marketing, and that's it. That's the end of the, um, that's the end of the relationship between you and that company. And when they use language that insinuates that they are a publisher, all that is is trying to trick authors into believing that they are um, something more than they are. And if you're trying to trick your clients, that's never a good thing. So again, make sure that they are transparent about the fact that they are not a publisher. Also make sure that they are transparent about what exactly you're getting. You are uh, giving them a certain amount of money. What are you getting in return? You would not think that this would be a problem, but it often is. A reputable company is going to tell you exactly what you were getting, uh, whether that's on the website or when you contact them directly, you're going to be able to get those details. Obviously, also look out for red flags like excessive typos um, on the website and in the emails. When you contact them, does it feel like you're talking to a real person? Um, are there typos in the emails? Um, if it's grammatically incorrect and you are speaking to someone who is supposed to help you publish your book, that doesn't bode well. And are they accessible? Can you email them? Can you call them? Who are you speaking to? Where are they in the chain of this company's command? When you contact Blue Pen, you're speaking directly to me. Um, of course, if the company is larger, then the owner might not be available, but still you should have some sort of idea who you're speaking with. It can also be good to check out the company's roots. Who is the founder? Uh, is this a money-making scheme? Or is this someone who has roots in the industry? Of course, Blue Pen was founded by a book editor, uh, and I am highly selective when it comes to bringing new members onto my team, whether that's editors or designers. However, if this is really only a money-making venture for a business person who does not have roots in the industry, they're likely not going to be as selective about hiring uh, designers and editors. They're um, going to be looking for the people with the lowest rates uh, because they just want to make money. When it comes to offering self-publishing services, making money should not be the only goal. Just like it's not the only goal for the authors who hire these types of companies. You want to publish something that is high quality, that you are proud of, that you're proud to put your name on. And that's one of the differences between working with a large company and working with a small company like Blue Pin, because I am the owner and I'm still dealing uh, directly with my clients. I'm very hands-on and um, all the work that goes out, whether it's my name, Victoria Griffin, or my company's name, Blue Pin, it needs to meet my standards. That's not the case for all companies, all self-publishing services companies, especially. But the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is don't jump in too quickly. Just be sure about what you're doing, who you're hiring. If something doesn't feel right, if it feels off, back up, take a second, do some research, check out Writers Beware, um, just Google, look for uh, posts on social media, on forums, see if uh, maybe this company is not legitimate if uh, other writers have had negative experiences and trust your gut, trust your intuition. I also recommend that you do um, enough research to become familiar with standard rates. Of course, rates, especially for design services, really vary. Um, for editorial services, check out the rate standards on the EFA, the Editorial Freelancers Association. Um, and then, you know, just do some preliminary research. Try to get an idea of typical rates for the services you're interested in. If companies are charging rates 
well below that, that is a huge red flag. Um, the company may either be a scam or the services may be very low quality. So to recap, the big things to look out for when you are considering working with a self-publishing services company is transparency and professionalism. If they hit those two notes, you're probably going to be just fine. And if you have any questions about self-publishing, about editing, drop a comment. I will get back to you. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch new content, and I'll see y'all next time.